check this out. There's a guy flying a drone here using a virtual reality headset. But obviously, it's reality with the drone up there. Where is it? Guys, today we are at the National Autonomous University of Mexico, known as UNAM. Not many universities around the world are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And just in the distance there, you can see the Metrobus station, Ciudad Universitario, University City, because this whole campus is known as Seyu. Anyway, guys, let's get out of here and check out what it's all about. We've entered more or less in the middle of this huge campus and say you quite strangely for me is full of these volcanic rocks i'm half expecting some little ewoks from star wars to jump out and in this video guys i'm just going to show you some highlights so the first place we're going to is a place recommended by one of the true mexico subscribers called george and he used to be a musician in mexico for unam for their orchestra And here is the home of the Philharmonic Theatre. And this area in the south part of the campus is indeed very nice. They have lots of theatres around here, as you can see, and they're all set amongst well-maintained, pretty gardens, probably full of those volcanic rocks again. And over in the distance there is the concert hall. We were just outside. And over there is the Museum of Contemporary Art. I've never been in, but I've heard it's very good. And UNAM, as many of you will know, is a famous university. It's ranked in many world university rankings as the best in the Spanish-speaking world. And many famous people have been here, including ex-presidents of Mexico, Costa Rica, Guatemala. Anyway, I'm thirsty. Time to get a drink. Free drinking water, very happy. So now we're going to head back towards the north side of the campus where we were before. So I'm heading north towards the famous library and probably walking wasn't the best idea. It's a long way and later I will without a doubt be eating a huge comida corrida. And look at it, it is, like I said before, full of this volcanic rock. Man, but obviously it's not like this the whole way. There are the roads you can walk down. Damn, that was a long journey. By the way, there are metro buses running along the side of the campus, so you don't have to walk all the way like I did. Anyway, this is probably the most famous site on the UNAM campus, the library, and the reason why I think the campus is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And whenever I've seen this library, I always assumed it was by Diego Rivera, but in fact it wasn't. The man behind it was a Mexican called Juan O'Gorman. Juan O'Gorman doesn't sound very Mexican to me. In fact, he was an Irish Mexican. His mother was Mexican, his father was Irish, he was born in Coyoacan. And it is very, very impressive and worth visiting the campus just to see this alone. Each wall represents a different part of Mexican history. I believe we're looking at the south wall there, which apparently is a representation of Mexico's colonial past. And on the west side, just here, it's supposed to represent modern Mexico. This area we are in now really is the heart of the UNAM campus. There are two plazas. There's this one here. It continues down some steps to another plaza. And just behind me is the famous Olympic Stadium. It's also where Pumas play, the Liga MX team. And I have actually made a video outside there before for the day of the Dead Festival where they have a celebration all around the edge. So if you're interested in seeing that and the stadium, link below to that video. 
So I came down those steps and it's definitely a great place to be a student. You go to classes, then you just come and hang out under the trees, on a rock, going on little dates. And my mission now is to find the area where the sports track, swimming pool, there is a sport which I've seen in Mexico City and I've seen it here too, people playing it. And I wanna find it and film it. But before that, check this out. There's a guy flying a drone here using a virtual reality headset. It's a virtual reality headset, but obviously it's reality with the drone up there. Where is it? Can't see it. I've got the headset in my hand because they've been kind to let me film it. It's so interesting. And he built it himself, this drone. Absolutely amazing. This guy is much smarter than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I'm getting closer. And if you saw my last video with the Dodi Locos, you'll know that walking right now is probably a good thing to burn those calories off. We got lucky, the guys over there are playing this game with their bare hands. And check this out guys, this is Fronton. And when I was Googling this, it was showing people holding some kind of, like something you hit the ball with. But when I've seen these guys play before, they just use their hand. So of course it's Fronton, but just by the hand. So I guess you must have a really tough hand to play this. And I know many of you guys might have gone to UNAM. Did you ever play this sport? I was just over there. I'm looking around the corner, look at this even more of these courts. This is a serious, serious sport. This campus is totally full of bike lanes. They are everywhere. And the bike would have been a better option today because this campus is absolutely massive. This video is just supposed to give you a small idea what UNAM is like. Maybe you went to UNAM and there is a bit of nostalgia for you. Anyway guys, I'm going to head off now. So if you like this video, thumbs up, helps the channel spread. And if you are, oh, security uh, car there. Anyway, if you are new to True Mexico, it's your first time to watch a video from me, please do subscribe. More videos are coming soon. So until next time, everybody, hasta luego.